Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, why you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting blessing. So, Scorpio, I hope you're well, vibing high, living your best Scorpio life. There seems to be a victory coming in, guys. Some kind of accomplishment or achievement. For some of you, this is a victory within yourself. For others, it's a victory outside yourself. There's something you've been working on that is coming in very soon. There's also something that you're going to have to trust your gut on and listen to your intuition. Over the next one to seven weeks, for whatever reason, that's the message I was getting, one to seven weeks, there will be a victory, but you're gonna have to listen to your intuition, Scorp. I feel like that's a separate matter. What What is intuition, gut reaction, please? What is that? Why am I feeling something about Scorpio's intuition, please? Six of Wands, because uh, you listen to your high priestess, like I said, your intuition, your guides, your, your messages, your intuitive hits that you're being given, and you're going to have a victory, Scorpio. It, 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 it's going to differ for all of you. Some of you, it's a brand new love offer coming in. Some of you, there's someone new coming in. Um... At others, this is a past person coming back in and you're going to have to use your intuition on whether or not you are uh, being lied to or love bombed or if you think this person is coming in to stay or not. Some of you, you may have someone from your past coming back and they keep a lot of secrets and your gut reaction is going to be this motherfucker hasn't changed at all. This is the same old, same old, a lot of talk, a little action, and it's going to be up to you to act accordingly. Yeah, don't waste your energy or efforts on something that is not bearing fruit, period. You're in the process of healing and eliminating bad energy from your life. Congratulations. That's what I mean. Some kind of, some kind of win Scorpio within yourself is what I feel for a lot of you some kind of victory being able to deny somebody finally letting go of a situation that was very toxic and harmful to you uh, there, there seems to be something coming that you're going to have to listen to your gut on and trust the intuitive hits you're getting and you're going to have a big win there is currently disharmony due to differences in a matter. Some of you could have disharmony in your life right now. Some of you have something happening that you're really regretful about, but you're moving to a better, calmer place. A Pisces could be important to you. Some of you, the, the message I'm getting is if you do not deny someone, if you let them come back into your life, you actually may end up regretting it, Scorpio. You may end up here. So you're going to have to be really, really wise here, guys. Is this person healthy for you? Have they done any work? Are they changing? Are things going to be different? Or some of you, there's something you're doing repeatedly in the divine asking you now to not do that. To hold yourself back, to find the strength and the courage. Four of Wands and, the, and Strength, Scorp, 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 Prosperity, Celebration here, okay? A Leo may be important. Something big, an achievement coming in for you, my loves. But if you see, we have the Four of Wands, the 1111, and then Strength, number 11. You could start seeing 111, 1111. You could start seeing that a lot. Everybody is has made that be just solely about the twin flame journey, but angel number 111 has a beautiful message of new beginnings. Um, you know, I would Google it. It's not just about the twin flame journey. Angel number 111 is a beautiful message that your manifestations are getting ready to come in. So, um, 
just know that whatever you have been working on bringing into your physical reality, it's about to come in, but it's going to require you to have courage and uh, persevere. You have been blessed with a heart, fortitude, and kindness to accomplish anything. There is no challenge or adversity that you cannot overcome. You may not realize how strong you are, but the divine knows you possess gifts of gentle strength. Your spiritual nature will always win over people's negativity, period. There is no need to back down from your convictions. Although it may be necessary to say no to others in order to be kind to yourself, just relay the information in a compassionate way it is not enough to be gentle with others. You must also be gentle with yourself. Message from your angels. You are much stronger than you realize. We will help you establish a connection with your endless inner strength and personal resilience. Beautiful Scorpio. A lot of you, you have to be kind to you now. You have to do what's best for you now. Do not have a misguided loyalty to somebody that has not been loyal to you. Maybe this is a job, maybe it's a lover, it differs for all of you, but you have the strength and the courage to move forward, Scorp, from a toxic job. You have the ability to find something that you love, a new job. There's some kind of victory coming in because this disharmony day and night is too much. Some of you, it's just disharmony in your mind. You're just like you're at war with yourself going back and forth on what you should do or if you should move forward if you shouldn't i feel like there's some prosperity and celebration on the way but it's going to require you to have courage moving on over to love tell me what is the overall energy in love for scorpio today what is the overall energy in love for scorpio Hurting ways, oh boy, separation, divide, heartbreak, looking inward, solitude, planning, take some time to go inward to finger, figure out your next steps. There is a disconnect between you and someone else and honesty, courage, and expression. Open up and be vulnerable. Express your true feelings. Broken silence. Scorpio, somebody that you've parted ways with is breaking their silence or you are finally going to say the things you have wanted to say for so long. Some of you are going to get the opportunity to let a motherfucker know exactly how you feel and what they have done and how they have made you feel. You're finally going to get that opportunity to speak um, from your heart here do it with compassion but you are allowed to express yourself and and let them know exactly how they make you feel when they do certain things or when they left or whatever this is here tell me about the person on scorpio's mind please how are they feeling the person on scorpio's mind please poetic justice fairness balance karma you will have justice and balance restored, taking action, movement, action, and courage, and lasting promise, commitment, longevity, and future. A lot of you, this person um, is taking action towards you, and they, they want to come in and work on your commitment. They want to come in and work on your relationship. And if this is something that you feel this person is ready to do, then by all means. But for those that feel like they're love balmy and they haven't changed, you're being called to speak your peace and keep it pushing down the road. Now, not everybody has that situation. Sometimes we have hard times in, in, in love. Sometimes a relationship doesn't always go as planned. And so some of you that are not dealing with a toxic lying cheating narcissist you may decide to go back tell me what's this person coming in what are, what are their true intentions i want to know what they want with my babies what are their true intentions here
some of you they owe you something they owe you money they're going to communicate with you some of you they live at a distance they're traveling to your area they're coming in very burdened very overwhelmed but they definitely have a apology for you and uh maybe even a little bit of dough for those that this person owes you money but scorpio i'm a little concerned that there's a third party still attached to this person some of you this person is in a commitment with someone else and you know that but they're coming in anyway because they are really afraid to lose you but they've made a commitment elsewhere and now they're breaking their silence but this third party is still attached I adore you, Scorpio. I adore you. I get so excited every time I see you. Is it too late to apologize? You know, like I said, I'm so happy when I'm around you and I'm not sure how you're going to react. I'm not sure what you're going to say. This person intuitively and subconsciously know that you are going to uh, tell them clearly about their self this time. Some of you have been practicing what you're going to say to this person. Some of you have been going over it in your mind. You're going round and round. Sometimes it's, it's beneficial to write them a letter, not to give, but just so you can get it all down on the paper, read it out loud, open up your throat chakra. So when they do come in, you're not so, you know, shell shocked. A lot of the times when we're around our counterpart, this used to happen to me. You feel like you, you have all these things you want to say and that it's so intense, your throat chakra closes and you have a hard time saying them. Or as soon as you see them, it's like you melt and it's really difficult to say what you need to say. What are their true intentions? They're confused. They need, they're, they're not certain. They just know that they still love you. It was at some point you and them against the world. Some of you have a home together. This, you and this person are selling a home because you're going through a divorce. Some of you, um, this person still has things at your home. Others, you have children together. You were building a home together. And you found some things out about this person. And now there's a lot of confusion. They're filled with hesitation and doubt. They don't know if you are up for the challenge. They don't know if they are up for the challenge. They just know that they have a lot of feelings for you, Scorp. They still love you. They still have a lot of feelings for you, but they may not want what you want. They may, they don't know. They're very hesitant. Why are they so confused? because there's been some kind of forbidden fruit or third party involved. There's been a lot of temptation, a lot of desire. You're healing, they're healing, you're both healing. You may be doing a lot of shadow work, congratulations. You may be getting to the bottom of uh, you know, childhood trauma or unhealed wounds. You may have told this person it's over. There's no second chances. It's too late. I don't want your fucking apology. I don't want to hear it. And you meant it, but they really still want to talk to you badly. Others, this person is going through a divorce or a breakup with a third party and they don't want to get you involved because there has been so much confusion. You may have been the forbidden fruit. You could have been um, the person that this they, they were cheating with and they're trying to fight the urge. They have so much desire for you, but it's risky. They could get caught. They're still living with a third party. They're not fully out of the home yet. They're not fully out of, of this third party's life yet. Tell me about temptation, please. Oh yeah. This person feels like if they come in right now, it would cause a lot of arguing and seven of cups, like I said, confusion because they don't know. They don't want this third party to know, find out because it would just be world war three. 
they feel like it would cause so much so many issues that they they are holding their self back and trying to resist the temptation some of you, there's a, your DNA is being repaired. You're, you're healing. You're fully actually healing. You've been doing a lot of work. You've been praying. You've been working on yourself. And you may not even see this person this, the same, Scorp. You truly may not see them the same. You may look at them and physically see them different. It's happened to me before. It's just because we see people the way we want to see them. And then when, when you start to heal and you're not on that person's vibration anymore and you raise your vibration, the way you view them is so much different than the way you remember them. Our mind falls in love with a version of the person that we want. Tell me, what's going to happen here? What do they plan to do next? There is action in their energy today, but they have some truth they want to speak to you. Capricorn energy, but very low vibrational, going round and round. They're not sleeping. They're thinking about what they would say to you over and over. They want to move forward. They want to move back towards you, but they're still not 100% on what to do because most of you, there is a third party karmic in the background lover. Others, this is friends, family, otherwise that just do not want to see you all together. And this person feels like it would cause a lot of ruckus and, and trouble if, if they came back in. You all could have had a big blow up at the end. Cops could have been called. Something seems to have happened. You could have been fighting in court. They feel like their family and friends would not accept you all getting back together. And they're holding their self back because of that. Tell me about this third party situation, please. Tell me what's going on with this karmic. A lot of you, there's a divorce. There's a breakup happening right now as we speak. Kick to the curb, period. This person is out. This third party has been a bugaboo, up their ass, messaging them, texting them, having to know where they are 24 seven. They're tired of it. They feel like their, their freedom has been took from them. Tell me why. This person seems to, they hate nothing about you, Scorpio. They love you. This third party is a hater. This person feels like it's time that they check their self. It's time that they uh, look in the mirror. They tried to fulfill some fantasy. Some of you, some of you, they thought this third party was everything in a bag of chips. They thought that this was what they wanted. This was what, what they desired, but they found out all too quick that that is not the case. That this third party could have been almost catfishing them, had them under some kind of illusion. They feel like they have to use caution though. That maybe this third party is very unhealthy and very unhealed. For some reason, this third party is hating on you or the, the whoever these karmic people are seem to be sending you a lot of hate. Why? For 10% of you, this person spent time in jail because you all got into a really bad fight and they put hands on you. And so now their friends and family are saying to stay away from you. For others, this person has been just hanging here, not making any moves, not coming in, but double aces, ace of wands and ace of swords. They want a new beginning. They want a new passionate beginning. They're kicking the third party to the curb. It's over, no second chances, they're out. But until that, until this third party is out of their life, they're staying away because they don't wanna cause drama for you. And they don't even know how you're going to react. They have no idea. Some of you, this person ripped apart your family, your home, your life for a third party that they thought was you know their their fantasy 
And so now they do not know how to come back in because they just burned the bridge completely down. Others, you and this third party have had many arguments, many word, word battles. Some of you even physical altercations. Some of you, you all work together. It's another message I'm getting. You could have all met one another at work, or this could have been a workplace affair and they were already married. It's Scorpio, if you are selling a house with this person because you all are getting a divorce, there could be a chance that they, they're coming in to try to tell you that they don't want to sell the house anymore. There's something there as well or something about selling a house. They could come to tell you that the third party is and, and them are selling a house because they're getting divorced. They have a lot to say. They're about to break their silence. Well, guys, I hope you have the most beautiful and blessed day. I will be, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm trying to go live this evening, but I have a lot of things going on because I have a beautiful, beautiful reader that has helped me revamp my website. I have a whole new website being launched as well as my two year anniversary sale. And there's a lot of things going on um, after I'm done reading. So I'm gonna try to go live later. That is if I have the time after I'm out of session. I will pop one and post on the community and let you know if I can do that. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.